guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I have another how to video and in today's video I'm showing you how I'm going to be fringing my jean shorts that I have on. These are from Abercrombie I believe. I've had them for a little bit. They've always been a little snug on me. They've gotten a little bit of looser, loosey goosey. I'm going to Nashville for my bachelorette and I wanted to rhinestone fringe these because I don't wear them that often. I thought, well, maybe if I spice them up a little bit, then I might wear them. So I'm going to show you my inspo photo for some shorts that I saw on Amazon that I'm kind of getting my inspiration from. Let me show you items that you're gonna need and let's get into it. So obviously you're gonna need the clothing item that you're gonna wanna fringe. So I'm using these jean shorts from Abercrombie. If you're wanting to do a jean jacket, I have a whole video about how I did fringe on my jean jacket, so you can go check that out. This is basically the same concept, I'm just doing it on another item of clothing. And that video is a little over a year old, so I kind of wanted to make a more updated, like better quality one, but pretty much the same concept if you've seen that one already. Next, you're gonna want the rhinestone fringe itself. So this is from Hobby Lobby. I've seen them at Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby is just literally right down the street from my house, so it's the one with easiest access. But this is Merchant 41 Decorative Trim. It's literally just a really long like roll of shiny like it's not stones it's indented metal but it looks like rhinestones from a distance I guess <laughs> but I have a whole roll of it you're gonna want some scissors so you can cut the trim into fringe and then the glue that I use is E6000 clear transparent glue I'm gonna be using this to glue them on I'm also gonna be fringing a dress I don't know if it's gonna be in this video or if I'm gonna make a separate video and I want to do like the fringe in the slit of the dress but I don't know what kind of glue I want to use because this glue might show up might be a little too thick for the material but we'll see we'll play around we'll see how it goes I'm going to go ahead and get started so let's move into the dining room where we have a little bit better setup and we can get to glue it just laying out my short on the Table, like you can see. I'm going to take my rhinestone fringe and I'm going to do it long ways because I want the fringe to go all the way down to the end of the short. So I'm going to start right where you can see the buckle is and cut it at the very end. So the end of the short, I'm gonna cut it till the end of the back of the shorts because as you can see the front is a little bit shorter so I'm gonna cut it so the fringe lays on the short a little bit longer so I'm gonna cut it on this line right here and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side but I'm not even gonna put it on the shorts all right I ran out of that fringe so I had to pick up some more at Hobby Lobby they didn't have the wide roll available so I got the shorter roll it goes on like this and we're gonna cut it Perfect. All right, so we're gonna bring our shorts back. We want the stones to be glued from belt buckle to belt buckle. So it will go on the side of the short just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take my E6000 glue like I showed y'all earlier, and hopefully I can get it open. I haven't opened this in a while. And we're going to do a line of glue across the side of the shorts. So I kind of globbed it on good. All right, I'm using a, the end of a plastic fork and I'm kind of just gonna spread out this glue a little bit. It is getting kind of clumpy, which will be nice for the rhinestones to stick a little bit better. So we're just gonna spread it out and then take that strip of rhinestone and stick it on there, starting at the top 
and I'm just going to press it down. You're gonna get it on your fingers, but it's okay. And just press her down. And all right, I'm gonna take that glue and I'm going to just make sure that the ends are glued down because sometimes it doesn't get on the ends. So I'm just gonna add a dot and spread it out top to bottom and just make sure that it's glued down. All right, so normally you would let the glue dry up here. It is pretty dry, but I would suggest letting it dry for a really long time, but I'm impatient and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the fringe. So this is when you take your scissors and if you can see up close, there are the stones and then in between there's just little threads and I'm just gonna cut in between each one to create the fringe. So I just have them with um, a top that I tuck, but how freaking cute. So I love that I started them at the top instead of at the pockets, and then they just are fringy all the way to the sides. I'm obsessed. Let me show you guys in the mirror. So cute, love. So I'm gonna be wearing these with a bride on broadway t-shirt that we ordered um and they haven't come in yet so i can't show you my full outfit but just giving you a little sneak peek on the shorts watching this super easy and quick tutorial on how to fringe your own jean shorts obviously you can follow your own rules you can put the fringe wherever you want however you desire um, 
you can just follow the steps that I did. Maybe you have some ways to do it easier or to make it look better. Honestly, there's a million ways to do it, but at the end of the day, it's all about what you like. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.